Chapter 47 Having agreed to attend the class reunion, Emma reminded Alex, we need to prepare some gifts for the opening of Noah's restaurant. We can't show up empty-handed. Alex nodded. All right, I'll buy a gift for him tomorrow morning. Great, Emma said. I have to go to the Diamond Group office tomorrow morning. Mia chimed in, surprised. Really? Then stop by my office afterward. We can carpool to Noah's restaurant together at noon. Emma smiled, teasingly. Well, you can forget about carpooling. I don't have a car. I usually take a taxi or the bus, and sometimes Alex gives me a ride on his scooter. What? Mia exclaimed, exasperated. You're a director at a company now. Why don't you have a car? I've just started working and haven't saved much yet. My salary mostly goes towards expenses and I give my mom an allowance. I only have about a thousand dollars left at the end of the month, which isn't enough for a car, Emma explained. Besides, I enjoy the convenience of public transportation. And a ride on Alex's scooter on a nice day is quite enjoyable. Mia spoke earnestly, you don't have to be extravagant, but you should consider your status. You're a director at Richard Group and a partner at Diamond. Some people might criticize you for not having a car. Alex agreed silently. He felt his wife was too frugal, especially considering how much of her salary went to her mother, who was a big spender. Who kept most of Emma's salary to herself. She would rather use half a million dollars of the family savings to invest in some fraudulent financial insurance than to give Emma. Two or three hundred thousand dollars to buy a car. He felt that he should buy a car for his wife. He decided he would buy a car for Emma, not just for convenience but also for her reputation in business meetings. Determined, he planned to visit a car dealership early the next morning. After dinner, the couple bid farewell to Mia and took a taxi home. As they rode, the radio DJs discussed the unprecedented charter of Orem Grand. The DJs were all amazed as this was the first time in history that Orem Grand was making an exception to close off the entire Orem Grand. They were equally curious about the person behind this and his background. The taxi driver started, in my opinion, it must be the mysterious rich guy on the internet, Alex remained silent but he was a little astonished. It seemed that after the news that the Orem Grand on the top floor of Orem Grand was announced, it caused a sensation throughout Orris Hill. This matter spread like wildfire and was discussed all over the place in Oris Hill overnight. Everyone knew that the Orem Grand Hotel adopted membership service and only top-class members had the privilege to use the Orem Grand. As for the charter, not even Diamond members were eligible to do so. It was absolutely impossible they marveled at the hotel's decision to close off the entire venue, speculating about the person behind it. Alex stayed silent but was astonished. The news of Orem Grand's charter had spread like wildfire in Orris Hill overnight, becoming the talk of the town. Everyone was curious about the person who managed to secure the charter, sparking various rumors about their identity. Some believed it was the mysterious internet figure, others thought it was a wealthy foreigner, while a convincing rumor suggested it was someone planning a grand wedding. The news had caused a frenzy throughout the city.